Amen. All right, take your Bible this morning, if you would please, and turn to John chapter 12. John chapter 12. If you've ever had an opportunity to look at the pulpit here at Tabernacle, a quote from John chapter 12 is written right here across the top. I look at it every time that I preach, and that quote comes right out of verse 21. And the statement is, sir, we would see Jesus. And um, I think that's a, that's a great desire. When you come to church, I think we ought to be looking for Christ, not looking for everybody else. And, um, but the passage is really a very unique passage. And it's very unique in the Scripture. And what I want to preach about today is I want to preach about the fruits of revival. The fruits of revival. And if you'll look with me what the Bible says beginning in verse 20... And there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. Now that's the Passover. The same came therefore to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we would see Jesus. Philip cometh and telleth Andrew. And again, Andrew and Philip tell Jesus. And Jesus answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But... If it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. And as I examine this passage and thinking about where we are right now as a church, I don't know how many of you think it's a blessing, but I think it's a blessing that we probably had a dozen people saved here in the last three weeks. God is the one that does the saving. I think we ought to be.